Hi there. Many others like you have asked, what is the key to bearing fruit as a Christian? Let's find out, shall we? You can find this answer and discover even more on gotquestions.org. In the natural world, fruit is the result of a healthy plant producing what it was designed to produce. In the Bible, the word fruit is often used to describe a person's outward actions that result from the condition of the heart. Good fruit is that which is produced by the Holy Spirit. Galatians gives us a starting place. The fruit of His Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The more we allow the Holy Spirit free reign in our lives, the more this fruit is evident. Jesus told his followers, I chose you and appointed you that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Righteous fruit has eternal benefit. Jesus told us clearly what we must do to bear good fruit. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, so neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him He bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. A branch must stay firmly attached to the trunk to prosper and derive energy and protection. If it is broken off, it quickly dies and becomes unfruitful. When we neglect our spiritual life, ignore the word of God, skimp on prayer, and withhold areas of our lives from the scrutiny of the Holy Spirit, we are like a broken branch. Our lives become fruitless. We need daily surrender daily communication, and sometimes hourly repentance before the true vine. One counterfeit to bearing good fruit is pretense. We can become experts at routines, the lingo, and acting Christian, while experiencing no real power and bearing no eternal fruit. We can easily slip into the sin of the Pharisees in judging ourselves by how we think we appear to others and neglecting that secret place of the heart where all the good fruit germinates. When we love, desire, pursue, and fear worldly things, we are not abiding in Christ, and often we don't realize that we are living fruitless lives. 1 Corinthians uses a different metaphor than fruit, saying our works will be tested by fire. Explore the verse using our sister site, BibleRef.com, using the link below. In conclusion, God is the judge of our thoughts and motivations. Even our hidden fruit will be brought to the light when we stand before him. A poor widow in a one-room hut can bear as much fruit as a televangelist leading giant crusades if she is surrendered to God in everything and using all he has given her for his glory. As fruit is unique to each tree, our fruit is unique to us. All right, that answers your question. What is the key to bearing fruit as a Christian? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find an in-depth article with citations and resource suggestions. If this helped you as much as it did others, like this video and subscribe to the Got Questions channel. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, as always, just keep asking.